Poland is trying to lay its ghost from the Holocaust to rest. President Andrzej Duda has signed a law making it illegal to blame the Polish nation for the Nazi Holocaust of World War II that took place on its soil. The bill sets fines or a maximum three-year jail term for anyone who refers to Nazi German death camps as Polish or accuses Poland of complicity in the crimes of the Third Reich. Poland says such terms suggest Warsaw was partly responsible for camps such as Auschwitz and Treblinka, where millions of Jews were killed. Poland's ruling right-wing Law and Justice Party says the bill is needed to protect Poland's reputation and ensure historians recognize that Poles also perished under the Nazis. Thousands took to the streets of Warsaw to support the bill. But it threatens to derail relations with Israel, which accuses Poland of trying to change history. The truth is that uh, many nations, including Poles, uh, many Poles were engaged in, uh, uh, in helping the Nazis uh, murder Jews in uh, handing them over to the Nazi authorities and in murdering Jews themselves. The United States says the law could undermine free speech and inhibit discussion of the Holocaust. The Polish government disagrees and as a gesture to Israel has promised to send the measure to the Constitutional Court to determine whether it conforms with laws on freedom of speech but only after the law goes into effect. We condemn all the crimes of World War II committed on Polish soil, regardless of the nationality of their perpetrators and to which nation the victims belonged. We will never limit the debate about the Holocaust. We owe it to all who have experienced it. We're going to be strong. I don't believe it that I'm here. <laughs> Auschwitz was the largest of the Nazi death camps. Its name is closely associated with the misery and terror of the Holocaust, and also with Poland, where the horrors of Auschwitz took place. Nazis built the camps after they invaded Poland in 1939. At the time, the country was home to Europe's largest Jewish community, around 3.2 million people. Three million died at the hands of the Nazis, but they also killed nearly two million non-Jewish Poles. Poland's role in the atrocities has always been a sensitive one. While thousands of Poles risked their lives to protect and hide Jews, there's evidence some Poles did participate in the killings, such as the massacre at Yevabne in 1941, where an estimated 1,600 Jews were murdered by their Polish neighbors. It's that haunting legacy which now troubles Poland. But is passing a Holocaust law wading into perilous territory of censoring free speech and outlawing memories of the past? Christine Pirovolakis, The Newsmakers.